Welcome to Airborne Labs International Mini Bulk Tank for Vapor Phase CO2 Sampling using ISBT grade MLB polybags. Warning! Before sampling, review the MSDS information on liquid CO2. Sampling must be performed in a well-ventilated area by personnel trained in handling pressurized cryogenic gases. Safety glasses, cryogenic safety gloves, and other necessary equipment must be worn. Ensure the mini bulk tank's pressure regulator is turned all the way outward so that no pressure will be initially delivered. Vapor phase sampling is sometimes required. When needed, disconnect any existing outlet tubing and then connect the vapor phase only T fitting assembly to the vapor port's flare fitting. Open the vapor phase pet caulk valve located just before the pressure regulator. Next, slowly adjust the pressure regulator control until about 5 psig is registered. This should initiate a good CO2 purge through the T fitting. Let this line purge for about 30 seconds. While maintaining a steady gentle CO2 purge, remove and carefully store the MLB's PTFE port cap, then connect its side port to the short stiff VEP section of the T-fitting assembly. Wait for about 10 seconds for MLB port purging. Next, with one hand holding the lower portion of the MLB's valve, use the other hand to open the MLB's upper valve head by turning this knob about quarter turn counterclockwise. Fill the back to near full, approximately 80% max, then disconnect the back from the T-fitting. Next, purge this bag of all CO2 by gently pressing it. Repeat this fill flush process. This filling process can be accelerated if needed by gently pinching the soft tie-gone tooth part of this teeth fitting. Do not overfill an MLB as this can cause it to leak or violently rupture. Next, purge this bag of all CO2 by gently pressing it. After two fill purge steps, reattach and fill the MLB to near full, approximately 80%. Next, holding the lower valve body securely with one hand, use the other hand to close the back valve knob clockwise until it is snug. Check for leaks by gently squeezing the filled bag. Leaks will be noted by bag deflation. Immediately label the MLB with all sample identification information, then replace the PTFE port cap. Repeat this process for the second MLB bag. Wait for about 10 seconds for MLB port purging. 
Next, with one hand holding the lower portion of the MLB's valve, use the other hand to open the MLB's upper valve head by turning this knob about a quarter turn counterclockwise. Fill the bag to near full, approximately 80% max, then disconnect the bag from the T-fitting. Next, purge this bag of all CO2 by gently pressing it. Repeat this fill flush process. This filling process can be accelerated if needed by gently pinching the soft tie-gone tube part of this T-fitting. Do not overfill an MLB if this can cause it to leak or violently rupture. Next, purge this bag of all CO2 by gently pressing it. After two fill purge steps, reattach and fill the MLB to near full, approximately 80%. Next, holding the lower valve body securely with one hand, use the other hand to close the back valve knob clockwise until it is snug. Check for leaks by gently squeezing the filled bag. Leaks will be noted by bag deflation. Immediately label the MLB with all sample identification information then replace the PTFE port cap. Next, shut off the petcock valve and bleed off all line pressure. Remove the teeth fitting and replace all small accessories back into the supplied plastic container. Replace all small accessories back into the supplied plastic container and repack all equipment into their designated lower tray slots within the shipping case. Reinstall the top tray containing the MLB sample bags and the sample authorization form into the shipping case. Use FedEx Express overnight service to return these non-HAS samples to ALI for testing. Thank you for participating in the mini bulk tank for vapor phase CO2 sampling using ISBT grade MLB poly bags. Questions can be directed to your instructor or sent to Airborne Labs.